Some women in the Tulsa area looking to turn their life around are finding it with brushes and baths for furry friends. 2 News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani shows us the Pets Helping People program nearing its 15th year in South Tulsa, helping to reintegrate women into society with a job in pet grooming. It's a slow day today, our first day back after the Christmas break, so we don't have a lot of dogs today. For many, New Year's time is another chance to start over, set new goals, and better oneself. All the dogs getting beautiful. At Muddy Paws on East 56th Place, though, every day on the job is another chance. I went to prison um, for five years for drug-related charges. Uh, while I was in prison, I heard about Muddy Paws. Grooming instructor Kristen Suarez started out the same way all groomers here did, with Pets Helping People, an open enrollment course for women getting back into society. The dogs love you unconditionally. They don't care what you've done, where, where you've come from, that kind of thing. And we really don't either here as an organization. We care about where you're going. Entering its 15th year, Pets Helping People has also earned a reputation of graduating some of its women to other grooming businesses in the Tulsa metro area. I mean, these girls ride the bus here. And then they leave after school and they ride the bus to work so they have a part-time job so they have more income. And then they barely make it home in time to go to bed. I'm just really proud of them. They are, they are changing their lives. Quimby, you're okay. Fellow Pets Helping People grads Heather Gilmore and Brandi Rubel say the program has capped their path to a better life. Well, I never thought I would find a job that I absolutely loved. I get to play with dogs all day long and I get paid great to do it. And I'm educated and I love it. I really love it. So. It's going to be what I'm going to be doing forever now. Suarez says the community, in addition to the four-legged customers, continue to be supportive. Our clients are amazing. Um, they love these girls. They're always doing things for them, and we are just so grateful. It's such a blessing, and these girls are so happy to be here and have this opportunity. In Tulsa, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma. You might have noticed in the footage the front door was made of plywood. Well, the groomers say the only bad part of their job is the recent string of vandalism. They tell us thieved thieves have thrown rocks through their front door at least twice lately.